not even the father of my son has broken my heart the way that you have. I would never trust you with it again. Thank you for what you did in there. That was good. I knew there was good in you. But no. Never. All right, Greenleaf fans, like the video, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and select all. That way you stay notified when I do live streams or post new content. And make sure you follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now, this video probably won't be super long, but let me just put it this way. After that powerful scene in front of the congregation, the Greenleaf family has pushed H&H &H out of the church. It reminds me of, uh, you know, like in the Bible, the many battles they had. It was almost like, you know, uh, you know, David leaving, leading Saul's army, defeating and pushing back many, many enemies. And they finally did it. I guess you could say Bob Whitmore was the Saul in this situation. Maybe not. I don't know. But in any case, um, in the hallway later on, we have Phil rushing up to Charity to apologize for everything and to thank her for helping, you know, him see the light. And she's like, look, I knew there was some good in you. And I'm happy that you showed that and what you did in church. Cause I was talking with Chandler. He's like, man, when I was watching the episode, when he got the ring back from Judy, I thought he was going to propose to Charity right then and there. I'm like, thank goodness he didn't. That would have been embarrassing. But in any case, um, I love you, Charity. And she basically shuts it down. No, I'm not going to trust you in my heart anymore. You hurt me more than my ex-husband, the father of my ch uh, child did. But no, I'll never trust you again. I'll never give you my heart again. And then she walked off. He's dumbfounded. She's, you know, emotional, but then smiles. Basically letting go. I guess you could say that in a way, Bishop repenting and confessing his sins and letting go of his past is kind of what Charity did to an extent. You know, her whole arc about being in love with Phil and whatnot, and now she's let it go. Hmm. I can see him getting together. I'm not saying I like these two. But I can see him getting together. Um, I, I mean, I would hate for it to be, you know, only because of Bishop's death. But maybe if, if Bishop did die, I feel like a lot of change is going to happen. Because sometimes when people pass on, even though it's definitely devastating and sad, it just makes you reevaluate a few things about your own life. So I know that it would not surprise me if, like, if there's a time jump or something at the end of next week. Because I do think that the church scenes in the next episode are most likely Bishop's, um, you know, home going service or maybe the first service when the Greenleaf family takes over again. I feel like um, I, I, th I don't know. I think Phil and Charity will get together. I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to happen. So, you know, Charity might seem a bit self-righteous, like, no, I'm not going to trust you again. But as quickly as uh, Charity fell for Phil last season I think it's safe to say that they'll get back together. I, I think it's going to happen. I mean, just let me know what you think in the comment, comment section below. Do you think Charity will forgive Phil and get together? I'm more interested, honestly, in um, Phil and his father, you know, making amends, so to speak. I, I think I'd rather see that. Or, well, excuse me, I'm more interested to see if Phil will reconcile with his father. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, on Cash App, or join my Patreon for as little as $1 a month, and I'll talk to you soon.